YouTube, what up? I am your guy Resurrection, and I am back with y'all for another Jersey video. Welcome, and let's go. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, I welcome you. I think you'll find this channel and video very, very helpful for you guys. And of course, for all my returning and dedicated subscribers to my channel already, what up? So this video that I'm going to share with you guys today is actually going to be a very informative video. I think it's going to be helpful for you. I am very fortunate enough to own two of the same jersey. Now, although this jersey is the same player in the same team, the same colorway, there's actually quite a few differences that I'm about to share with you guys right now. So these things that I pointed out are things that I noticed personally upon looking at them, both trying them on myself and I think that this will help you guys out. So why don't we break down the player in the jersey right now? All right, so I am holding in my hands right here a Houston Oilers Earl Campbell Mitchell and Ness Authentic. They are both authentic and they are both the baby blue colorway right here. So rocking the hat by the way because I wanted to show love to the Oilers and Earl Campbell but there are a lot of differences so this jersey that I'm holding right here on my right is a made in USA Mitchell Ness Earl Campbell and the one that I am holding on my left is a made in China Mitchell Ness Earl Campbell they're both legit if that's what you're already pointing out oh one's fake one's real no I'm not doing that these are both authentic and legit just to throw that out there so i want to break down some things let's start with the sizing so the usa version right here that i'm holding on my right is actually a size 48 which is equivalent to a men's extra large the one on my left which is the made in china is a size 52 which is a men's double x so this one is technically a size larger than this because this is a made in china version the fit of the jersey will naturally fit larger and much more boxier so um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of the jerseys, the newer style Mitchell Ness jerseys, they all really just fit differently. And what I mean, what I mean by that is that it like it has a boxier cut. So if you could see right there as I'm turning around, you can definitely see the difference between this jersey, you know, kind of how it goes around my body compared to the USA version, which really complements my body more. Um, that was kind of a difficult assessment to make because obviously this one is a size bigger, so naturally it would look bigger. The China runs have a much more boxier cut, and I think that the older style runs like the USA's will really complement and fit your body truest to size i believe all right the next thing i want to share with you guys to compare and contrast i think we'll focus on the printing uh, press of the jersey now on the usa version by far that really is far more superior than the china newer prints uh, of the mitchell and ness jerseys i mean this right here is very very glossy as you can see it almost feels like you can peel that off if i kind of you know try to peel it off i'm not going to do that but you know it just fe feels much more um glossier as you can see as my camera kind of reflects with the light bouncing off it um you know if you turn it around you can see that with the numbers and letters and um, it doesn't feel like it's like naturally pressed onto the jersey it just kind of feels like it was just like a heat press just boom flat it and then that was it and it never really stuck on completely that that's kind of what it feels like to me and what it looks like however if you look at the usa version of the jersey it's almost as if like the print and the press kind of blended with the material itself you know um, i don't know if that's considered like a silk screen press or um heat press but they definitely did different transfers i think that the usa version that had it was just much more superior than the made in china back of the nameplate also with campbell's name on there it fit, uh, feels much more heavier i think the print that they use on that just feels a lot more better and more durable on the usa version compared to the china also if you look closely right there the arm printing is different on the usa version as opposed to the china version if you look at the china version it's got those two white stripes right there uh you know following the red stripe printing and then if you look at the made in usa version it has printing and one large white stripe in the middle so that is the biggest difference also if you look at the numbers right there if you look closely on the number four you can definitely see that the four on the usa version is kind of blended with the material because if you look at the polyester they kind of have those holes that are embossed right there on 
the jersey's fabric. And then if you look at the number four on the China version, it almost kind of just looks like a, it was cheaply pressed on and you could just peel that off. Though I don't want to take all the credit away from the Made in China version because this is actually pretty good, I think, considering for a lot of the newer Mitchell Ness stuff that I've owned and wore over the years. I think that this is one of their best um, Mitchell Ness jerseys that they have produced as of late. Um, this press is pretty heavy on the Made in China run, but it just does not come anywhere near the Made in USA version. All right, another thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is the color of these jerseys. Now, I know you guys are probably both seeing baby blue right now. However, one of them is slightly lighter than the other. The USA version has this like lighter shade of baby blue compared to the Made in China, which is uh, a little more flat if you ask me it's like it's slightly darker than the usa version which is like a little more bright in your face kind of baby blue another thing that i noticed about both of these jerseys are the mesh holes so obviously the usa version uh the mesh holes seem to be a lot more bigger you know if i kind of hold this jersey right here in front of my light i could see the light kind of reflected through as opposed to the china version when i hold it up in front of my light you know the jersey kind of blocks the lighting from reaching me so i can't really see it too much as opposed to this and the holes like i said are much more bigger another thing i do want to mention about the jersey before i forget is the weight it seems like the china version has much more weight than the usa version i don't know why that is it feels slightly heavier than the made in usa version um, i don't know if it's because of the printing or if it's the mesh that they use um, but i feel like the mesh on the china version is a much more heavier it's got more weight to it than the made in usa version and of course one of the biggest things you know is the manufacturers and the neck tag so if you look at the neck tag on the made in china version you know you have the mitchell and s branding along with that red tag which a lot of the newer heads probably can associate their jerseys with and it says made in china along with the size you know 52 in parentheses they have the double xl and so forth so on but on the usa versions and the older style mitchell ness runs they have a number associated with the size um, without an actual like size but if you are wondering this is a size 48 that is equivalent to a men's extra large so obviously the older runs you know they just had the the number sizes so 40 44 48 52 56 60 and so on so uh that is one thing uh, one indication to look for when you are deciding to purchase an older style mitchell and s jersey also the neck tag is much more different as you can see there is no red tag on the usa versions that was something that they added uh, along the ways later on. All right, and one last thing that I wanted to point out on this is the jock tag of the jerseys. So obviously they are two different jock tags. The Made in USA version has a much larger rectangular area right there of the year and the team it says 1980 Houston Oilers. And of course you have the Sammy Baugh right there on the top tag. On the Made in China version, you have that NFL players right there, that black tag on the side along with the Sammy Baugh. And then on the bottom, you have the year of the jersey, which is also 1980. However, now they put the player's name, which is Earl Campbell. These are the two differences between the Made in China jock tag and the Made in USA jock tag. This is the stuff that I grew up on, the older stuff, because I've been collecting for a long, long time. So I'm more familiarized with seeing this older jock tag. All right, guys, and that is pretty much going to wrap this up. So this is my compare and contrast between these two jerseys right here. At the end of the day, if you're asking my opinion on which one I would go for, I would say the Made in USA version. There's just so many things here on the Made in USA that I feel outmatch and outclass the newer style Mitchell Ness in terms of quality, uh, in terms of sizing, you know, given that I know that this is a size bigger, so that may be why. But I do not want to take anything away from the Made in China runs, especially for the Earl Campbell jersey. The Earl Campbell jersey that Mitchell Ness uh, has produced over the years um, are probably one of their best quality jerseys you know because this is actually not too bad in terms of quality it's actually fairly decent it's got some 
really, really heavy weight to it. I like that baby blue contrast that they used on the China run. And you know, uh, it's just a really, really hot jersey at the end of the day. And that's pretty much going to wrap up my review, my compare and contrast between these jerseys right here. Um, you know, obviously I wanna thank everybody that has sat through this whole video. I know this video may be pretty long, longer than most of my other videos, but I felt like it had to be done because I know a lot of questions have been coming at me about you know the differences and, and you know what size should I get and stuff like that. Um, if you're looking for a jersey that has a long fit, I would highly suggest getting the older style Mitchell and Ness jerseys. But be warned, like I said, they tend to run really long. And for that reason, I've mentioned earlier in the video, um, if you're looking for a much more boxier, just standard, like regular t-shirt kind of fit, I would definitely consider getting the newer style jersey. So um, just because my opinion says I choose this doesn't mean that this is like law. So if you prefer the newer styles, please go right ahead. But based on my comparisons and contrasting, uh, the USA version and the older style Mitchell Ness jerseys are far more superior in terms of quality than the newer style run. But I will leave that up to you guys. I'm just trying to help you guys determine what would be the best option for you. If you value quality more, I think that the USA would be a good fit for you. Um, if you want something that is a little more affordable and easier to access, uh, more accessible, then obviously go with the newer styles because these are much more newer and easier to find out there in the market than the older style runs. I feel like these older style runs are a dying breed. All right, and that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I wanna thank everybody that sat through this video and watched it uh, from beginning to end. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have already, you already know. Much appreciated. Thank you, fams. Um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So I really hope that you take this knowledge with you guys moving forward, and I hope you make the right choice and buy what makes you happy at the end of the day. In no way, shape, or form am I condemning the China newer style run jerseys of Mitchell and Ness. Um, you know, I personally like the older style much more in terms of everything. Uh, I think it just fits me more and more of my uh, style and, and, and preference. But again, like I said, it is totally up to you. Don't feel pressured into buying something um, if it's out of your budget. I will see you guys on the next video. One. Mm -hmm.